So we've arrived to Main Island yesterday and today we decided to do a little bit of exploration just around the island. So we started off just by exploring Campbell Bay, which I believe is just on the eastern side of Main Island. In the list of things that Daniel finds interesting, but no one else probably will, this tree looks interesting to me. Apparently it's a tree that, that uh, grows only on islands because it tears its layers off, like paper. Cool. Probably the only person that thinks it's cool. So just one little note, because we are here in the winter of the West Coast. For anybody who grew up on the West Coast of Canada, you'll know that winter pretty much just means it's going to be cold and damp. You're not really going to get that much snow. So I would highly suggest that you dress up coming here because you're going to be soaking wet. So wear some proper shoes, a toque, and at least a nice puffer jacket as well while you're walking around. A toque, for those that don't know, is a bee. I didn't know. That's a Canadian term, I guess. And also just a little bit of instructions on getting to Main Island. So pretty much you can take a ferry straight from Tuasson Bay from Vancouver. So if you're coming from downtown Vancouver, that's about 45 minutes down to Tuasson Ferry Terminal. And then from there they have ferry sailings. And from what we read, there's about two ferry sailings a day that go to the Gulf Islands. Um, so, of course, Main Island being one of them, they only come here twice a day. So there's one just in the morning and there's one, I think, late afternoon that I'll head out here. On a lot of the islands, typically on the west coast, I do see a lot of these trees that do peel. Um, I'll try and figure out what the name of it is, but they're quite unique because typically in the summertime, once it dries up, you get to see the red, um, I guess, skin of the tree start to peel off and you can kind of just play around with it and peel it. But here's one that we found that was kind of already peeled and it's actually quite smooth to touch. As you can see, Daniel's sensually touching the tree. Shh, now take a moment. Look how cool it is. But this one's cool because it has, almost looks like it has veins on it. See, it's like it's trying to flex. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So here we are at Bennett Bay. See, it's quite beautiful down here and quite calm. And there's a nice little beach to go walk around. Um, and just on the very end over here, I was reading that the main island resort is just down here, which I believe it's what I'm looking at right now. And over here, they have a really nice restaurant called the Bennett Bay Bistro that I've read has really good food and has some good reviews as well online. Find out later. Just before we came out to Bennett Bay, we did stop to grab lunch quickly at the Farm Fresh store. Is that what it's called? Yeah, sure. We'll confirm later. Okay. Well, it's just nearby our Airbnb location, but they have awesome sandwiches, which I believe were just about eight or nine dollars. Then show yours. Today's installation of Food with a View is brought to you by Bennett Bay. Looks good. It's a turkey sandwich. And then I've got the Reuben. Okay, so we finished off lunch and I was actually wrong. It's called Farm Gate Store where the sandwiches are from. And what did you think of them, Daniel? Really, really good. <laughs> I prefer the turkey. Reuben was great, but actually really good sandwiches. Whoever recommended me to go there is absolutely right. Yeah. Definitely go back. Definitely worth it. Actually, I'll probably get one before we leave just so I can eat it on the ferry.
Okay, we have just spotted a seal and we think it's eating its food. It's just shaking its head right now. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it my way over. Oh, it's eating octopus, V. Huge. It's eating octopus. Oh, probably the one we saw yesterday. Shit, that thing's huge. Excuse the language. What the? And the birds are just waiting to get some. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. Whoa! Oh snap! It's tearing into pieces. <laughs> wow! So what we saw yesterday that was, an that octopus. was a dead octopus. This is the Airbnb that we have chosen to stay at on Main Island. Um, it's a cob house pretty much and it's considered to be one of the unique stays that we found on Airbnb. Um, so just a little note about this place, we had to book it about a year in advance and typically dates fill out quite fast because this is a re really really popular place to stay at. So this is just the front of the house, as you're seeing the front door, the living room. And the bedroom is just upstairs and then just to the side there's a little nook here with the pizza oven and a little hangout spot if you just want to hang out outside and just warm up and also just to get prepping for pizza later tonight okay so just entering into the house you're right away to see the living room So this is a size little reading nook. So this is where I've been most of the time just reading during the trip. And then we got a nice little fireplace here that we'll get going a little bit later. And a little seating area with the stairs. Let's head into the kitchen. Oops. Let's trip there. The kitchen's quite cute. It's enough space to cook in here. Um, you do not have a proper oven, but you do have one of those microwave ovens out here, so you can always cook something. A little stove top to get, make some tea or coffee in the morning. Or boil some water, and then your seating area. They're neat. Here is the bathroom. It is quite cool in here, I have to say, so taking a shower you might want to do it very quick. Because, well one, there's not a lot of hot water here, there's about five minutes worth. But, if you can take quick showers, then it's actually quite nice. And then you have the set of stairs that just go upstairs. So luckily enough there are heaters in here because it is quite cold to come here in the winter time. So we found it to be quite okay to be sleeping as long as you're wearing sweats to bed or something like that but the bedding is also quite warm. So I don't think anybody will have an issue trying to stay warm while they're sleeping. So here's that outside patio that I was talking about. Let's just show very quickly. There's Daniel outside in the corner. And here's the balcony. So here we are with the pizzas just before they go into the oven. So I just made two little small ones so we can test it out. And we've been grilling up the pizza oven for now, I think just about an hour and a half to two hours. So I think we're ready to start cooking. Okay, so we did one pizza and as you can tell, it did not turn out to be like pizza. 
We think it's because the oven wasn't warm enough. The pizza oven wasn't warm enough at all for the pizza to cook. So what can you do besides ordering pizza? <laughs> Another day, another hike. So we've made it to Mount Park Regional Park, which took a couple of detours because we went to at least two different spots that we thought the hike started on because Google Maps gave us absolutely the wrong address. Um, and then all trails as well was kind of a bit confusing too. So your best bet is just to look for the Canadian Provincial Park signs that are on the side of the road. Or your best bet is just figure out where the farm gate store is and that's where the start of the trail is. Instead of us that drove to the other side of the island. Yeah. At least it's 10 minutes everywhere. So okay. it's not a bad thing. Let's get started. Thank you. 